What's up guys, it's your boy Superhuman Caliban Drucker. And as you can see, we're playing in Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Supposedly the last Naruto game since the series has ended. The campaign is pretty cool. We have all these major fights. It starts. It's only the uh, Great Ninja War, though. They cut out pretty much a good chunk of the story. But these huge battles are pretty much one of the greatest things about the anime and about the game. However, this is the free battle mode. And as you can see, I'm trying to do the ultimate finish. It's not what I would call a true fighting game. But, you know, if you're into the anime, it's pretty cool. It's pretty much an updated version of the last couple of games. Actually, no real big difference except for the campaign. Battles can get pretty exciting, though, as you can see. Here's a tip, though, guys. When starting the combo, oh, left the right, or up, or down, and you actually get a different combo. Uh, at least for most characters. Some characters have an awakened state, as you can see. They say there's over a hundred characters in the game. Uh, I can honestly say there is about a hundred plus characters in the game, but most of the characters are just the same characters, but different outfits, as there's only five different Arutos and five different Sasuke's you can choose from, which in each of those, one Naruto has six costume changes, another has three, and this, you know, so on and so on, and they add up no one all into a hundred different characters. The victor has been decided. Now, some of these different outfits actually have different ultimates and different finishers. <laughs> there are a lot of different types of. Uh, Things you can do in the game. Campaign, like you said, is. I wouldn't say short, but I uh, wouldn't say long either. It's about a couple game playthroughs. Then you can play the adventure mode, which is basically. Naruto running around. 
and reminiscing about all the old big battles that he's faced. So you in the virtual mode you fight Arrow for the first time. Uh, it's pretty cool that they included all of that into the game. And then actually trying to get all the secret picture endings and all the secret substitutions and whatnot is pretty cool. the rest to you uh, as you can see in here all the characters are actually speaking English but if you go into the option modes you can actually change it to Japanese which was <laughs> pretty cool. Said, it's not the greatest fighting game out there. I wouldn't even call it a fighting game anymore. Just like Dragon Ball is basically gone into combos and then hitting super specials. Oh, I know a lot of you are saying that's what a fighting game is. As you can see, secret complete finish chance. But for me, a fighting game is a little bit more. Uh, it's about technique and skill. But these games have all... You can... Uh, about chance. But like I said, it's still fun. <laughs> the supers are still amazing. Well, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Take care. See you soon.